<sighs> we good? He's off. Wow. Yes, yes, we're good. Are, good. are we recording? Yeah, we, feel we, like we, recording. we are recording. Beautiful things. Let's go. We are recording. Let me get it going. Let me hit the drops. Y'all got ahead of drops right now. Speak the speaker up. And, and, but. You hear? No, I want to. But anyway. Uh, you can hear it on the broadcast and in a drop. All right. Um, welcome to episode 45 of the Two for Two podcast. I'm your host, Rivers, here today. I got um very special friends in the building, co-host. Banks is here, Humphrey's here, and we got our special guest, singer, songwriter, extraordinary, was she, was she a literature teacher? What? She's, she's actually going to teach me how to sing. Nah, bro. So if you all let me... um. Hang in a note a few months from now. Just know where it comes from. I don't know. Huh? Wow. Yeah, That's well, a lot of pressure. You got me, right? Nah, bro. With mm-hmm. literature teacher? Yeah, you know. Oh, okay. I got to yeah, yeah. add some spice on there and some juice. I was waiting for you to say the name, though. Yeah. I want to see if you... You dodging. I don't know. Special guest. Emotion. Emotion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Special guest, Sapphira. Yeah, Sapphira. Yeah, he was studying. Sapphira. He was practicing yeah. all day. Yeah, Sapphira. I don't point with that. You know what I mean? Notice now... When he say teach him a song, that boy in love. So he just want to know how to play, you know? You know how to play. I got a red note too coming up. So all I mean, right. I love it. Congratulations. Hold on. Man. You say you're a red note too. Like you Wait, you say all too? Yeah, I like, I perform in the red. So, yeah. oh, <laughs> this is the way for me. It always hurt to see. Like, mm. like you're in the room. So yeah, so I, I take up performing at weddings now just to get over whatever hurt now we're talking about. <laughs> Deep. Is That's it funny. helping? That is funny. But um, Zvira, how are you doing? You look you look wonderful. I like this color where you got going on. Thank you. If I know I was gonna be in a red chair, I wasn't gonna wear so much colors. But I have been good to answer your question. I'm good. That's good. Life That's is good. good. You know, That's it's good, good to be home. How how long were you away from home? I'd say, since July of last year, I've been traveling around Europe. I don't know how long that is, but look at you shit over on over six already. months, over seven, eight. eight nine. Look at you got me to shit on us. No man. No. So how is Europe compared to the Bahamas? Was that your first time going over there? Yeah, yeah, it was my first time. It was it was quite the experience. A lot of <sighs> shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, it was a lot because I did it like authentically. I wasn't like in the lap of luxury or nothing. I just had my savings. I had a backpack. I went with two friends from Nassau, but I eventually went my own way. I was staying in hostels. You know the thing that people get killed I, I, in. I heard that's movies. a big culture there. No, it, no, it doesn't happen in real life. But yeah, it's huge. Like backpackers, like just meeting random people, and yeah, man, it was cool. It was fun. Mm, I recommend, a- and I recommend all my Bahamian people to do it. You're young, like go, go do it now, like for real. Now, compared to what you used to in the Bahamas, how different is the culture? Like, <sighs> how much of an adjustment you had to make traveling over there? It was a huge adjustment. I didn't get jet lag, even though it was like six hours in advance. I wasn't a huge fan of the food, like initially. Mm. Like I come home and I, I put on a couple of pounds because I didn't miss the food. But the city culture was, it became a bit too much for me at one point. It was just like a lot, everybody going about their business. Nobody gives a shit about you. I liked that part. Like you could be on the subway with hundreds of people and no, you'd be picking your nose, scratching your ass. Like nobody even, like nobody watching you. Everybody in their nobody own, cares. everybody following their own, you know, thing that they have going on. And it's it's cool, but it's also not cool because then you have a lot of rude fucking people, you know, not in France. I've met a lot of really nice people in France. The French are not rude, contrary to popular belief. Mm. But, you know, it's cool. So which it's part nice. did you experience that London, I, I bet? Uh, I, well, London was my first stop, yeah. yeah. And then I went to Liverpool and Manchester. Ah, Manchester, okay. So where, where are you stationed now? I'm back and forth between Nassau and Bordeaux, France. Bordeaux? Yeah. Okay. Wine country. So uh, it was it was kind of different because, see, our culture is like, good morning, good afternoon, and then them niggas yeah. don't do that. I mean, them people, sorry. You know mm-hmm. that? <laughs> Actually, in France, they do it, they do it a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. they do? Yeah. They greet you? Not like if you're just walking on the street passing somebody, but if you walk into the store, you walk into the shop or something, they say bonjour. Like, mm. okay, okay, okay. You know, upon the week, good day, good afternoon, good night, just like we do. But the, like I said, ain't as rude as other people. Like London, oh my gosh, it was so many rude people. But like, I don't know, it was just it was too much. It was too much. It was crazy. I, like, I always wanted to travel to Europe mainly because I wanted to see the difference in the UK and the mm, US. Mm. I recently came from New York like last week and... I've been there a few times, but this time was different. Yeah. 
this time was sort of a mind fuck for me because at this age, like I never looked at New York in the way I look at it uh, on this trip. I seen why now in the movies, the Batman movies, <laughs> and I may stray off from this. The villain is always trying to get Batman to realize how fucked up the city is. Mm. Like, how fucked up the leaders and the people are in the city. Yeah. Like, I get it now because everything there is about the money. Like, they don't even have grass. They don't have grass. Everything is structured around making money mm-hmm. in every single way, every aspect of New York. True. And I always wanted to know if, you're, if, if the European culture is similar to that. Uh, you, would have, you have to understand that America is literally the grandchild of, you know... Europe. That was the main, in terms of, you know, I don't want to use this, but white civilization came from Europe. And, uh, like, in terms of building up these megastructures, packing as many people as you can, so you got to build upward, not outward. So, yeah, the, the energy is still the same. It's just different in terms of scenery. Like, the architecture is so beautiful. Like, the buildings mm. are just old as fuck. And everything, like, yeah, it, yeah, I, I fucked with Europe. I'm, would I, would I, you I, move there? Like, if you had, um, a, if you had an opportunity to permanently, permanently, no, no, no. Um, I met my boyfriend while I was. That's why I decided to settle in. France. Shout out to your boyfriend, yeah, wherever he is. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. you could say his French name, or you cannot. Oh, Valier. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's French um, from Bordeaux. But <clears throat> I actually met him on my first night in France. This is after I had already traveled around. I was in London. You did fucking? Several... Don't lie now. What? One night stand? No, not on the first night. Okay. And that was the thing. Like, when I was traveling, I was like, <laughs> I'm going to travel Europe. You know, I'm going to live this, you know, this traveling fantasy. You know what I mean? I want to meet some European men and just, you know, freak out. But I was gone for, like, at least at least two months by the time as I went to France, mm-hmm. doing different uh, countries. But by the time as I went to France, I still didn't juice nobody. Um, I was just more enraptured and like really meeting people, having authentic connections and stuff. So yeah, so he was like the first person, and I really thought I was just gonna go on a juice and spree, not, not, <laughs> like, not in a bad way, you know. No, but, we, we enjoy, this is a safe space. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So he was the first person, and I've been with him ever since. Um, September second. Oh, home. I can see the bubbles in your eyes. Yeah, you can see all the bubbles. Yeah. I, I, you glowing. I watched a TikTok and I was like, she's she, she your boyfriend already? Like, you didn't join Tinder to try. No, 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 no. <laughs> I actually did get on Tinder while I was traveling, but it wasn't to juice. I decided, because I'm not really outgoing, so I would just like meet up with random people and be like, okay, where's, not meet up, but I'd text and be like, where's a good spot to go and get drinks tonight? And then they'd take me there and... I used to smoke a lot of pot at the time, so I also quit smoking weed while I was in France. Mm. So I would like <clears throat> hit up people and be like, "Hey, do you know where I could get something to smoke?" So Tinder for me was like a weed connection, kind of. Yeah. Question: okay. How 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 are the men compared to Bohemian men? Are they question. are they more or less aggressive? Because <laughs> um, we know Bohemian men, aggressive. we could get to it. Less aggressive. Yeah? I feel like because, like I said, I went away with two uh, Bohemian girlfriends at first. We did England together, but then we split ways. It they, was they still in <clears throat> um, one when I went back to France. She went to Japan for a while. She's in Canada now. I think she's settling in Canada. She met a girl, and they're in love or whatever. And the next one, I don't know where she is because we had a whole falling out. It was a while. Like there was like Instagram drama, oh. you. Know? But anyway, um, I forget what I was talking about. Just like that. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, the guys. How, how the guys. guys. The guys are. I feel like. They are not as aggressive, you know. They they want to talk to you and shit, but I feel like they was low key intimidated by us. Like they they Caribbean liked what women. they see and stuff. Yeah, like they could tell off the bat, you know, that we were, you know, from. But I, I imagine Europe to be a big melting pot as well. So it I, is. I'm sure they encounter Caribbean women too. Of course, it is a big melting pot, but it, it's still that same energy is still there for some reason. It's not like. Okay, maybe it wasn't even intimidated by us, but mm. that's the way it came across to us. But at the same time, maybe it's just that we used to behave in men. We're like, hey, hey, you know, sweetness, you know, like they just go out. And they, it's the extra. They don't do none of that, you know. No woman. I've had it. a few people approach me, but it was like in a real so just like, chat. Let's just 
talk. How's the weather? You have like a day, you know what I mean? Like, and then you you kind of vibe that they trying to flirt, but it's not overt. Like, are the are the girls fast over there? Like, are the girls ready to give you a vibe off jump, or you gotta work for that? I don't know. I would. I, you haven't met. I you have been have no way become way. friends with any of the locals. I mean, in France, he, yes, I've befriended a lot of people, but I don't think they just ready to. You know, they probably in the shop talking to Bahamian, Bahamian man. They could talk to your wife. I feel like Frenchmen are better. It's like a they're better. Better. Nah, bro. Listen, I must be French. In terms of like, in terms of <laughs> you know, talking and, and stuff. They're like, speaking yeah. a different dialect. Feel they just like you see all of the movies and stuff where they is like have this typical stereotype. Yeah, uh, French guy. He's like, oui, oui, mon chéri, and all the girls fall in love with him and. It, yeah. Like that. They like smooth. That? They smooth. They smooth. They so, don't say we oui, we oui, mon chéri, but they fucking yeah. smooth. So you trying to show me if Nalo buying spots on the scene? I say like yeah, I'm buying. Skin on the spot. You ain't getting no blade. That's what you can say. That's what I'm saying. Like who the fuck? It ain't happening. I can't get my pocket. Vitamins and sandals. But like you say, like you say, right? It's like natural talk. Like how's the weather? How your day go? One little small talk, you know. And then from there, my accent they like a nigga popping. Ain't it? I mean, it, it, okay, so you're saying if you're using your accent and just being... Like, see, the just, thing just, is just like, general conversation, you know, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. Shit. Like, that's, I feel like that's the part that, I don't know, it it never really worked for me. Like, the typical Bahamian come on. And I've dated Bahamian guys before, but I don't know. I just want to get to, like, just a conversation, you know what I mean? And in that conversation, then that starts to be like, oh, this guy cute, you know, but... I don't need the extra. So, oh, you, so you go off, I, of, you go off yeah. and intellect. Like it's not racist. your accent. It's, the, it's just okay. literally, yeah, just, just so talk. So that's why I said, like, I wanted to know, like, if you met French girls who just like, oh, I like your accent. Oh, you mean coming on to me? No, I'm saying, oh. like, with, with you being there for the uh, length of time that you've been there, have you become friends with any, like, who grew up in Egypt, um, Europe in their entire life and all the whole so thing. So you just want to know if you could go to France and get some pussy. Yeah, um, sure. I would say go give it a shot, fam. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Well, you did say you did say he liked to talk about sex. I, I no, it's him. I, he told me to say this. I didn't want to say it. See, I, I'm the bad he guy. To yeah, he's a bad guy. So he liked me to be bad in front of the cameras, and mm-hmm. he we we be on drinking before we come here. So he's like, nah, look, when we go, like, you know. So I I do I do, I do it. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Um, so yeah, I want. So contrary to popular belief, a lot of people believe that Bohemian men, Bohemian men are um, womanizers. Hmm. You, 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 you say be- contrary to popular belief. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. But you believe that to be true. In all of my personal experiences, I will Bahamian never men talk don't on what. I can't speak on the global, but in all of my personal personal experience with Bohemian men, they have been womanizers. Mm. They ain't just. They don't cheat. They have fucking harems, okay? Oh, they don't have a side bitch. They have a side fucking, yeah, no. So, let's, so about your music. Let's talk yes, about that. Yes, okay. Uh, so, yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> let's not wake up the trauma, okay? Can I, can I, interject, uh, can I interject before we go there? No. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go to music then. So I heard a few of your songs. Mm-hmm. I was telling you all fair that um, you sound, or the song that I heard is more of a, like a neo-soul vibe. You were telling me that majority of your music goes from how you're feeling at the moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give us the rundown or the process of you writing or creating music. How does it begin? Is there any roadblocks? How tough is it at certain times? What is the best time for you to write a song or come up with a song? Let us hear it. Uh, I don't just write, you know. I, I I don't say I'm going to write a song today. You know what I mean? I, I've done it before, but that's me pushing myself or challenging myself. I tend to just find a good beat, mm-hmm. you know, that I have from one of my producers that I work with. I still work with all Bahamian team, even though I do have a French manager and I'm working with a French studio to record my album. Mm-hmm. But... I get my producer, this is a badass fucking producer, like he sends me the sickest shit. And interestingly enough, I like write my best stuff when I'm driving. Like I just have the music blasting and I don't know, it's something about just going and then I just play it and I start to sing. Like I don't physically write it until I already have the full song in my head. Mm-hmm. And then I go home and write it down on paper. This comes with, I don't know, I've been challenging myself lately. So if I hear something that I like, 
I'd be like, I want to try that sound, and I do that. But normally, it's like some fucked up shit happened, and it's just really like consuming all of my thoughts and stuff. So I don't know. I, I write a song about. It. Yeah. The more emotional it is, the easier it is to write the song. I, I'm kind of a sad bitch when it comes to my music. Have you ever experienced writer's block? Yes, um, but I don't let it phase me. How how were you able to f- um, curve that? I don't. You don't? I write, I write it. You know, like, I mm. don't feel as though you should try to fucking, you know. I, f- I find a lot of... Riding the waves, you know. Yeah, I find a lot of artists, they find it very difficult to get out of that space there where, like, it's hard for them to write music. Yeah. So that's why I asked that question in particular. Well, I've never had to write anything with deadlines. Um, mm. I just got asked by a huge producer to write a song for this lady, but it doesn't have a deadline. So for me, when I start writing, like I say, I be singing in the car and shit. I have half a song. How dare you yawn while I'm speaking? No, that wasn't that too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I would like do half the song. And then if I get writer's block, I literally just put it down. Mm. and go back to it a couple of days later and see if anything changes. If it doesn't, then fuck it. Go back to it next week and so on and so forth. But so how did you get in contact with your Bahamian producer team? Like, Because that's, that's that's crazy in France. Is there a lot of Bahamians in France? No. my the, the guys that I work with that are Bahamian live in Nassau. Just, oh, yeah, just connect. Everything technical. Email well, I think thing. the better question would be, how long were you doing music? How long did you start to, before you started to take music seriously? I know you told me you always were into literature and mm-hmm. writing and stuff like that, but when was your transition from putting, I think, I guess, your thoughts mm-hmm. into music? Uh, I feel like I was always in the industry low key. Mm-hmm. I used to dance like in high school, so I just met the right people. And then I started backup dancing for Julian Believe and Angelique Sabrina. Oh, good. And then. Nice. Through that, Julian found out that I was a songwriter. And I actually co-wrote one or two of his hits. I won't say which, because there's actually a thing happening right now with okay. that. Did you say less? Are you, so you're trying to get paid for that? I won't say which, because there's actually a thing happening. No, we don't even know which. But you, I won't say which, because... Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, so it, ain't, Angelique, it, ain't, Angelique, it ain't about money. It's just, yeah. Angelique Samosa, trying to do it. She does do it. Angelique <laughs> Samosa? Whatever you call her. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this guy okay. is hilarious. Angelique Sabrina, no. Uh, I mean, yes, she still does music, but she hasn't been releasing any. She's more into acting right now. And she's about to get married. I think her bachelorette was like the day or yesterday. So question, where is she situated right now? She lives in LA. Don't talk like that. Okay, okay, okay. She left a long time ago. Shout says, out says her wife. About after the wife, yeah. Okay, cool. Shout out to Angelique. Yeah, okay. man. She's doing great things. That's good. The glow up is real. Mm. But yeah, you know. So after the backup dancing led to me songwriting with Julian. And then that song was sold to Dyson Knight of um, Bahaman. So it was just like I, this whole time I'm like doing all these things behind the scene. And I don't regret any of it because you have to start somewhere. Yeah. But I was like, I can't do this shit to other people. You know what I mean? Like I know I always wanted to be an artist. You know, I want to be on the stage in front of 60,000 people. You know, like no small goals, no small dreams. So why, why am I starting? Just do it. Mm. So I took $600, hired a videographer and recorded my first song, Stupid Girl. The vocals on that, like I told you, if you listen to me singing some years ago, it's shit. Like, I wasn't even as good as I am now, but it's the consistent practice and shit. Mm-hmm. And I had this super cool concept for the video, very trippy. It's a whole mind fuck. And we shot it at Stokes Mansion and I dropped it on my birthday. Um, I think that was at least six, seven years ago. Wow. Probably like seven years ago. And then after that, I have dropped a single, even if it's a small project and I don't promote it or anything. Yeah. Every year on my birthday. You dropped Since something. then, yeah. That's why. Yeah. What is your What has been your favorite single so far from yourself? City or Lights. something you write? I, I, I had a feeling. I could have well, just tell. Well, if it's something I write, it's, it's a song that's going to be on my album, also dropping June 7th, yes, on my birthday. So it's a birthday gift by my album. But there's a I song that's called Sin in Silence. And I just wrote it once I got back to Nassau, but that's going to be on the album. Tell us about it. Sentence. Where did you come up with that name, Sentence Silence? Because that's... It was just something I said. I don't know, like, the poetry just has come to me. It's like, normally it any time... I don't know. Just... Anytime I um, commit a sin, it's never be in silence, trust me. It's be loud. 
It's a noise being made. Like, That's the only him. time he makes a sense. You know what you saying? He make all kind of noise. He's a noisy nigga. Like, you can't stink him in your house. You Tell me a sin you commit. You can commit in silence. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I don't commit sin, boy. Okay, sorry. Maybe what I Envy. I'm a Christian boy. If that's a sin. I go to Envy? church and pray. Yeah, that's day. true. Envy and, je- and jealousy. Yes. Mm. I don't like don't that, forget, though. Boy, I ain't nobody. They bleed. They blood with bread like my eggs. He's nanny. That guy, he's nanny. I ain't envy nobody. Why you sin I commit? And I don't got no sin. You said he's nanny. Like, how is he? Well, when they come and they make all kinds of noise, I don't got no sin. Sorry? What? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about shit and, and then no, he said, he the see how he's going from one thing to the next, right? Like, what the? He said, I said, when I make it, if I come and I make it, I make all kind of noise. So, just, yeah. so you mentioned, <laughs> you mentioned the album yes. that you're coming out, right? <laughs> On my birthday, June 7th. On your it's birthday. It's called The Siren. What sign is that? Capricorn? No, I'm a Gem- I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. So what? Tell me something about Gemini, y'all. They say we Good two angel, face. bad angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, they I, you all have different personalities. Yeah, you know, like my whole life, I used to deny it, but I realize it, it, it is the fact, you know. But it's not like in a bad way. I don't feel like I'm fake. So wh- come wh- in. I don't feel like I'm fake in any way. Um, what the hell? Oh, there was somebody there. I was joking. Huh? You feel like you don't fake, but you feel like it's... I don't feel like I fake. What's good? Go ahead. Love you, Yuri. <laughs> but no, yeah. I'm not a fake person. The thing is, I do have two personalities, right? Like, my mood can switch on a dime. You know what I mean? Like, like one minute I'd be like, let's go out. I won't go get fucked up. You know, stay out till four in the morning. And then 20 minutes later, I'm like, I ain't gonna fuck that. Sound like a Virgo to me. I don't know. That's what I see. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to go. Yeah. I don't want to go. Yeah. It's one emotional, oh, emotionless oh. person, boy. Go ahead, oh, buddy. Oh, Love oh, yourself. You know what? We ain't going to spoil it for more. We can get your ass later. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I think someone that's what I'm saying. But I think, I, I authentic. So I have a question for you. What you see is what you get. How long do you stay here in Nassau when you come to Nassau? I'm, well, I've only been doing it for the past, uh, I've only been in France for the past, like, once he's six months or something, seven months. Mm. But I was there on and off for about two months, and then I came home for two months, and then I was gone for three months. And then I'm just going back for a month, and then I'll be home for the summer. I don't know, figuring it out as I go, because, you know, there's also, like, immigration laws. With our Bahamian passport, Mm -hmm. we can go to any of the Schengen countries uh, for up to 90 days every six months. Like, our passport is really powerful, if, like, if y'all didn't know, like, our passport is that when, shit. When you say when you say Schengen, explain uh-huh. that for the people at home. So the Schengen might nations, ask that might are, not know. Um, it's the last few uh, nations in Europe that are under a treaty. Um, you know they have the what is it the, the European Union. Right. So like several countries, you have Italy, Spain, France, and a bunch of other ones that I don't know all of. Mm. They're like, you know, one. Not one nation, it's all different countries, mm-hmm. but they are in this union. All of them use the euro, all of them like abide by the same laws for the most part. Um, but several of those countries are considered the Schengen nations. And I think, I don't know how many of them there are, but we can, we could talk and go to like, I no saw, stress. You don't need a visa, you don't need, yeah. I saw love how you say that Schengen shit. Like, that was, I don't I, know if that's how to pronounce it though. I might, be I, wrong. I I might sound dumb. I never heard it before. I thought that was a dish inside some place that like that sounds so good. I probably said it wrong for you. Isn't Schengen a place in China? Shenzhen, no, Shenzhen, China. All that, all that's what if you know right now. <laughs> like whatever you say. Anyway, anyway, yes, man, leave this freaky ass nigga. I swear, yes, like, <laughs> what happened to you? What's up? We have guests. Why are we been drinking? Like, leave yourself. Sorry, you gotta do that. <laughs> So yeah, Jeez, man. about your album, yeah. what could we look forward to um, with your upcoming album? What type of music are you looking to hear? So, Let's yeah, hear. it's a mix of music. So the album is called The Siren. Mm. Uh, when I met my boyfriend, he used to like make fun of me and by saying that uh, I'm a, <laughs> a siren. What happened? Why are you laughing? I was... I was thinking about the Lil Wayne song, but you said that is not. What? <laughs> you, you're the second person to do that. I was on 103 The Beat with Ace the Rapper, and when I said the siren, she literally ran. That's the first thing. You, what the like fuck? a cop call. No, you know, like the mermaid siren that sings and lures the sailors to their death? Like, no, no, come on, know. man. Like, y'all it's, into the- That's some Disney thing? 
Thank you, Yuri. It's like no, Disney? it's not some Disney thing. It's folklore. No. It's like a it's myth. A myth. Like yeah. Uh, well, I don't see it, and I don't like evil know, mermaids. Do I don't know any mermaids. That's my girl. Um, she used to be one of my models in my promotional modeling agency. Long time. Long time. Long time. Why? I don't know. Oh my god. No, I <laughs> but yeah. So, so the, the siren. siren. It means something like is this a hidden message behind us? Shit. You know, I was just about death. to, yeah, I was just so, about to tell you about that. Have y'all never watched nothing better mermaids to sing and learn to sing this across their ships? Oh, nothing yes, better. like when you oh, hear the siren like song, it's called the Ariel siren song. Ariel sing to Eric the guy, get E-Y? Who? No, no matter. Ariel. That'll explain our album, please. <laughs> and you have to deal with this on a weekly basis? Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me, this is a weekly But it's still, still that's, feels that's like, a lot. feels like lot. daily. That's that's right. Right. One of a kind. Evidently, I, I want to say for my viewers, we've been drinking, but go ahead. <laughs> we? That's my first bear. No, me, me, okay. Them, me, them. Okay, I am not on that level. But the siren, so yeah. Uh, when he first met me, he would like make fun of me because, you know, he kind of fell in love instantly. Mm. Ain't my fault. But okay. no, I kind of fell in love instantly too, like by, and this might sound weird to a lot of people, but like day six, yeah, that shit was real. I know, crazy. Yeah, sure. But anyway, um, so he would, because of this, he'd be like, but you're a witch. Obviously, he ain't saying, but, but oh, like, you're a witch. You know, like, you cast a spell on me, all this crazy shit. And um, then he found out I was a singer. And then he was like, oh, I get it. You're a fucking siren. You're a mermaid. Blah, 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 blah. So when I came home in December last year, I just was like, I'm going to work on a new song. And I decided to play with it. I was like, what if I was actually that vindictive conniving not vindictive but you know dangerous like I kind of stepped into that fucking badass female energy no I get it and it's like it's yeah awesome. yeah like I, I, I was feeling that shit so I wrote a song called The Siren I, Siren Song and then yeah I forget that I don't I don't know if I did ask but is your boyfriend Bohemian or he's is French. he French yeah, he's, he's French? French okay alright can I see your picture you can he's cute he's yeah. so cute yeah, click, click, click. yeah. he's cute Oh, look at y'all too. Y'all well, look I mean, like y'all in love though. Yeah, that's a that's a really nice photo. Yes, that's really nice. He gets sisters. Yes, he does have a sister. Do you know what that means when they when someone asks them? But no, I was about to say he would hate the fact that you're asking that question. He don't know me. Yeah, he's he probably gonna watch this. He could be like, "What the fuck? Fuck is this?" So you know, this is like nobody. Huh? You know, my sister's like nobody. No, no, no. It is, it, it's not really that serious. Well, he, he ain't coming here to see me. He's he super protective. I right? saw. <laughs> I saw a meme. <laughs> I saw a meme that said, like, if the homeboy or homegirl asks if your partner have a sister or brother that means you fuck your partner. That's why I try to figure out why you ask that. Oh like they, you know, like yo. right, if I if I look if you yes. show me if you show me a cousin, you'd be like, oh right, well if you show me a girlfriend, let's say you gay, and you show me a girlfriend, and I'm like, yeah, your girlfriend have a sister? What that mean? Bro, like, yes, it still look good. That means girl... that you find the person you're talking about attractive. Yeah, so obviously, yes, it's to be attractive. Yeah. I'm sus. No. I ain't you. No, I mean, they can't grind you, so I'm grind her. That's what that mean to me. Oh, God. No. What you want to do what you want to do? It was never an option. You really want to do me a favor? <laughs> you, could, you could pour my, my beer in this cup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we need a refill. I know that one looks squeaky. I ain't gonna lie, right? I mean, true one. What happened was, Rivers is a bad influence. So, we you were right, buddy. You doing good. I like how he just doesn't allow you to talk your shit. He doing good, though. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know. Allow me. I am a rebel, okay? Uh-huh. This is not Lil Bang's bike, but just get it. Can I stop this shit? Mm. See why why he's sitting back and he smiles let me do me because I used to rap up. Mm. I get naked in front of this camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> you need the like, ratings to go up. Like I'm like, like, <laughs> all right now. I like to talk you this motherfucker. You know that? Split the jinks too. Like, <laughs> Don't just go out. Bro, you can cancel you do but you do what? <laughs> you do hey, right that shit. You wouldn't get by. Yeah, you can you can get it done, bro. The yeah. people want to see who this jury is anyway. Like, yeah, no I, I can donk you on this motherfucker. Is it there? <laughs> like, is, you saying out loud. What, what does it mean? I am so sorry. Wow. I will never again. You could look at me see Even I, think. First off, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm nice looking and well kept, but you could look at me see I ain't got all my senses. 
Are you looking at? This is true. Yeah, you know I mean, this so is true. like anybody who knows Nalo Banks by with this kid, what? <laughs> like this is me. I just stupid, right? I been at work, right? I been at work, and they be like, "Who is this?" And this is my line. Nalo Banks, Bagway. Let's get it. <laughs> Nalo Banks, what? Bagway. Bagway. Oh, Let's God. get it. What is Bagway? Bagway is, you know what we thought of like, but Bagway is a movement. It's like who you are. It's like you feel it. <laughs> feel it. Yeah, I, 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 feel I got the meaning. I got the meaning. I sent, I sent it to you. You know what it is. Bagway. All right. Okay. But what I want to ask you is, I mean, want to ask you is like, I think okay. it's, I think it's so amazing that you live in France, like in Europe, like. I don't technically live there. Though. But I mean, like, you're there for the most, of the, uh, a large period of time. So yeah. it's like. And you probably could move there because you have a boyfriend. I don't yeah. think you'd move here. We're, we were talking about it half, half. That'd be dope. Yeah. But like, experience, like, 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 we were asking you earlier, like, experience that different culture. I, I saw a video, I told you just earlier, on your TikTok, where you posted, excuse me, you trying to make, um, not Kong salad, but. Yeah. Closer as possible, and she's so beautiful. Salad, these six snails, right? Oh, but that's like that's like curb. You have a curb yeah, salad? everyone was in the comments saying those are curbs, yeah, that's curb, but it's not curb. But I had never had it before. I don't know, is it cinnamon? Where you get it, like you got it on the shelf? It yeah. was in a little, oh, you remember when we used to get like, that? It looks, it looks like a literal little sea snail, but he's actually, yeah, these are actually like snails, and she's like getting them on the shell, and oh, like, yeah, but it's, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a large snail. And she she broke all of that down in a TikTok video and like I watched it and I was like, what a freeze, like this shit look like and the texture and everything it looked like and I was like, bro. Yeah, like, it's pretty wow. similar. It's a little bit more tough than kunk and it's not as sweet as kunk. Kunk have like a nutty taste. But I mean mm. it helped with the craving. It was like like I say, I had this I had a food withdrawal. But what, what, that was your thing? No, my whole thing was like, how was it like adjusting from island to like cause you know Europe is a few years ahead of America, and America's like a lot of years ahead of us. So, like, how was it adjusting to like that advance to like mm-hmm. supposed to be third world country? We asked that question at the top of the episode. Well, really? yeah. I want to hear from my you know, point of view. How I bring um, it down. Yeah, I don't think said. no one else answered besides oh, Adjust- go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Since you want to go again, the again. adjustment <laughs> period it was it wasn't that hard for me. Um, when I went to London. I was cool, you know, it was fine. I just felt like I was lost in the mix. And it was just like a lot. I feel like it was like sensory overload to a certain extent. But then when I went to Bordeaux, Bordeaux is also a city, you know, there's lots to do, city vibes, but it's smaller. People are nicer. They say hello, you know. So it was like a really good uh, middle ground between island and big city. Mm. Um, So that helps with my adjustment period. But at the same time, like growing up in Nassau, like even the way I would dress, you know, it just was always different. From, Are you always dressed different? Yeah, like as long as I could remember. Even back when I didn't have the budget to do it and look nice, like I would be young, literally wearing the stupidest shit on my closet, but trying to put together outfits, you know, just to be different. You know, that shit got me made fun of. But it also like expanded my sense of style and shit. So in terms of dressing and all that stuff, it, it was easier to adjust and fit in. I feel like I fit in there more with my... um dress style, Sense of style and even like to a certain degree my personality than at home yeah, yeah. see this is different yeah we in the it, box we in the box yeah. in, in the Bahamas but like, I we, will always choose home like home is home yeah. I, don't give, I just want to clarify please don't come for me when I say I fit in more there I feel a little bit fuck them fuck them man tell them you choose Europe if you choose no, Europe no I don't you choose, choose Europe. Europe but you know what is fucked scared up to denounce the Bahamas no I'm not denouncing the Bahamas at all yeah yeah they, yeah. go ahead but no like we get you fucked up the, the real fucked up part about it is like one of the things I can call out and know this is like me Cohen the reception of my music and the support and the when I go to a show and I say my Instagram on the mic or I pass out my cards with my thing I have people actively following me. Like, they actively go and listen to the music. When I'm performing loud, they're engaging with me at home. Mm. At home? Nah. Nah. And I have people that That's... support me when I'm when I'm done. Like, I have a select few people, like, come and find me and be like, that was so good. I don't want to say people don't support, but in terms of no, the we masses, could, No, we could call them out. You know why that, we could call them out? Off. We could call them out because what I noticed with Bahamian and Bahamian culture is when it comes to art, until they see you on a large scale, they don't support you. Yeah, I we, noticed yeah. that. We ain't used to different things, but like we just, I, I don't even. I don't even think it's minded. that now, though. I don't think it's I think that. It's small minded. It, 
it is a part of small yes, mind sure. small mind syndrome but at the end of the day i feel like we have a know, for lack of better terms barn wagon mindset yeah. so if if i popular and i and i post somebody and everyone see that okay this is trending mm-hmm. then they jump on that like yeah, i said yeah. until like like in, unless a music becomes big Then, then you would see an outpour yeah. of behemoth support. Mm-hmm. And that's sad for us. It is really sad. For our culture. Like, we don't fact. really support our own. It's a fact. And honestly, like, I, I speak on that shit all the time as much as I can. Simply because, like, I feel like we really need to stop our shit. Like, and the reason I always say don't come for me and stuff like that is because I come from no, a place come where people... No, come for us. Come for us. People would always, we want like, y'all come for us. like, challenge me on it. You know what I mean? They would feel like, because I dress different, because I talk different, they always be like, oh, you think yeah. you're better than... No. No, I don't think I'm better. I love this fucking place and I love my fucking people, but my people need to do the fuck better because like mm-hmm. we have so much fucking talent. Like come on, look at what y'all doing. We have so much fucking talent in this one little rock. And if we stand behind our own and support our own music like they do in fucking Jamaica. How many fucking artists would be huge yep. right now? Yep. We have 350 or whatever thousand people in Nassau alone. If I just had the whole of Nassau support, I would be viral. Agree, you know what I I'm saying? You. But what I gotta like, what I gotta do for that? I gotta go off and bleed and then get their support and then come home and people be like, you "Oh, I have to off this." If Glorilla posts you, that's it. Everyone that's else posts you. Like, nah, bro. This is me. You just that's gospel. That's gospel, but. And that's just, it's been going on for generations and generations. And, like, oh. and this shit right here, you speaking on this platform and other platforms can fucking open their eyes and mm-hmm. their ass and know. Don't need to wake up, but yeah, okay. support that was, one. That was the purpose of this, of this platform in the beginning. Yep. Yep. Box, you box. know what I mean? For this very same purpose, yeah, we want to bring and shed light to behemoth artists and let people know that, hey, we have a lot more in this culture than the sun, sun, and sea. Yep. You know what I mean? Bruh. We got... We got brilliant people here, and it is time yeah. for everyone, time for the world to see it. Yeah. I mean, in, like even like I think of recently, I've been seeing like a lot of art, behemoth artists venture into the rap genre of the music, mm-hmm. and for for me personally, like Rello, uh, Twin them, it was it's one guy from Fox Hill. Too. I, I watch him like like a lot of these guys doing some good things, but like you say, we we won't support our home until the world supports us. Yeah. That's bullshit, but yeah, yeah. we have, like, and it, like you say, we have a lot of talent here in the Bahamas, but, like... But I feel like they don't, like, even with me saying that, like, we have so many talented, famous, successful Bahamians, and the vast majority of the Bahamian public still don't support them. They'd be like, oh, yeah, that's Buddy Hill. Oh, yeah, that's DeAndre. But, like, think about it. Like, we have we have Bahamians with blue checks. Before you could purchase blue checks, mm. we had Bahamians with blue checks. You have Jamie Boost taking fucking pictures of all all the celebrities everywhere. Yeah. Soki Siren, she's Grammy nominated. She's taking over right now. Like, and we we just shit on them. Like, like it's a it's a it's a pride thing too, though. I, I do like believe it's a pride thing too. Black crab syndrome. Nobody wants to be a leader. Nobody wants. Everyone wants to be. Well, we don't say everybody, but a vast variety of people would prefer to follow. So, See, like they say, it's, it's, it's trendy. Yeah. When something is trendy, yeah, trendy. that's when it's that's when it's vas- um, feasible for everyone mm-hmm. to jump on board. Yeah. See, but you know what happens to a lot of us too. For us, becomes a successful. We have um, our parents who go off into America or Europe, mm-hmm. and they would mm-hmm. marry into these families and yeah. have a child, and then that child would right. still represent the Bahamian roots. And then they became famous like Clay right. Thompson. Right. No, but then I wouldn't want to say that because we have a lot of behemoths that came from, from the mud, the and they yeah, and they they, they came from like, struggling families and they rose through the, you know, through the cracks. Like, yeah. you know, I know, buddy. Buddy, you got buddy, you got Aiden. Aiden found he was been. Let's take it back. Sydney now, Jack, Pointer, yeah. Like, yeah, that him too. Go all the way back. You have Sydney Pointer. You have Joseph Spence. Joseph Spence is actually my great great grand cousin or something. And these, But they they come from nowhere. These right. are prominent yeah, people in sports and music and and, and acting. What about Lenny Gravitt? I know Lenny Gravitt's a major problem. But I, 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 think, I, think I, I think, think I don't think I think he's half being in the second generation. Eh? Yeah, I think he's second. I don't think he was born here. If, if no, I think his old, I think his father is a behemoth. Yeah, he I think to America. Right. Yeah, I think he was born and raised in New York. Same if I'm not correct, mistaken. Yeah, but Clay raps is hard. 
Are you spread click? Now. He grabbed. Boy, he been rapping for me. When he first said Ring Boy. But that's what I'm saying. Clay been in the league before. Now, I feel like Clay now. No, from his first ring. Because, because of the love Clay got, or support Clay got from the beginning, people, I feel like now he embraces bro, us more. I don't want to Clay because it's personally, bro. I don't want to because, like, he been rapping us, bro. Yes, I, that's why I feel like he been yes. rapping us. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I haven't seen it. That's why I'm only speaking no, for myself. He been rapping us. I ain't speaking yeah. for myself. Play, I, play, I I only play speak play from what play I play see. Play I play see play. now that okay, because of the support. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. No, because of the support. I got I got support that. No, we well, that's all right. That's fine. We, we all have opinions. Yeah, we all have those. I don't have one. Yes. Yeah, because yes. I don't know nothing about this subject. Yes. Yeah, that's right. fine, but I I'm just telling you what I see. Okay, his father is the first foreigner. Yeah, I ain't talking about his father. His father is a pure breed behemoth. I'm explaining to you. Mama V's, we go on here, you know? Yeah. No, no Clay, Clay being rapping us. That first, that first y'all mentioned. I know, I ain't going to lie. Clay being rapping us. Okay. And I, I was trying to figure out why he was so strong and then I, I didn't find out, like, I know one of his cousins on a personal level. Like, the nigga being, he being doing that. All right, I'm telling you what I see. He's doing that shit. Eric yeah, Eric Gordon is another. Should I, another I, I, want, I don't want his cousin. Now he ain't, he ain't as he ain't as a household no. name as the rest of them, but yeah, he's still big yeah. in the NBA. But we got we got a few women in the NBA, but what other sports? What would you like? Um, what you what would you like to see in the future from yourself and uh, working with other Bahamian artists? Would you want to collab more with Bahamians? Oh yeah. 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 Which artist sure. is in particular? Are you the one calling me? Uh, Sleepy Lex. I love Lex. I, I recorded a song with him before, but we never did anything with it. Same with Chase Fernander. Recorded a song, never did anything with it. Um, who else do I really like? How do you feel between them? I see two of them, they doing big. They're, good. They're really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Y'all have a connection, you know? No? I've met them a few times, but we're not like do you? friends. Do you find it difficult to get in contact or get in connect with Bahamian artists, artists and working with them? No? no. No. We're normally at most of the same venues, mm. performing at the same events. So that's that's how I've networked so much. But everybody is, if they have, what did they say, 20, 27, 24 by 7 island, something like that. Not so only so big. Mm. So do, and nobody is hard to reach. Do, do you know any Bahamian Others uh, besides yourself who are in France or in Europe and all in, in in France, no. But there's it's Dia. Uh, she has been in London. I think she recorded some of her music videos there. Oh, that's great. No, she she travels a bit, but I don't know any other artists in France. Shout out to Dia. Yeah, you know Dia. Yeah, I mean she was she's supposed to come on the show soon. That's what's up. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. That, so that, what, that that should be a good show. This is a question I don't think we asked already. What made you decide to go to Europe or inside of America or Canada? Um, I always used to get this comment that my sound was more European. I asked you about the accent the very first time. I no, not my, not my, not the way I speak, my music sound. Like, it's just the, different. It sounds yeah, European. My lyricism and stuff like that. Mm. I mean, I didn't really know, but I mean, I heard it several times from several different sources and I was like, maybe I should go and try Europe. And then America is so... Overrated. When it comes to music, right? When it comes to music, when it comes to everything, even like everybody traveling to Miami, like, don't you want to see more of the fucking world? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. And I, I traveled to Florida a lot. I've never been outside of Florida, but I traveled to Florida a lot all through my childhood. I was never up to Canada. I went to Barbados and a bunch of other Caribbean places, but I, I was like, no, nah, I want to see some different shit. Mm. I don't know. So what? I don't think we asked this question. Mm-hmm. Correct. Move on, move on. Mm-hmm. What originally got you into music? Like, what this? What sparked your interest into music? I pop out singing. I, I you know, yeah. it sparked my interest. I. I you have a little bit. Seven fingers. You like? I don't want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just I don't know. Just like it. I just always like it. Always. It's always. always oh, I. I what remember, the, like, for a short time, I used to say I want to be a teacher for, like, a month. Mm-hmm. But other than that, my entire life, I always said I want to be a singer. And you know what's crazy? My what? daughter's middle name is Harmony. And Harmony has something to do with, you know, the symphony and music and all that stuff. And she's, she likes to sing. 
Like she's not as good as she's not as good as she should be, but she likes to sing and dance and all that. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, like I say, from the womb, I used to play music for her in the womb and all that. So like, can you play music? I used to play music for her when I'm on the oh, for her. her. Yeah, okay, when okay, I'm okay. on the womb. So like, music is a part of who she is. So mm-hmm. I just like wonder: is, does your name? I mean, you don't have to say it, but does your your government name have something to do with music? Or anything? Like that? No, no. But that's just a part of who you were. Is your, any of your parents music, musicians? Uh, my mom can sing. My dad can sing. Like I said, my it's just always been in my blood. My Georgia, that, that ancestor likes. is Joseph Spence. He was like one of the first famous, like world famous uh, Bahamian singer and okay. guitarist. Like he's known all over the world. I never okay. knew him. So it's, it's genetics. Yeah, it's in the blood, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Huh? I, got, I got one more question before we get out of here for you. Our dad. Um, <clears throat> Why are you going to open the music? laptop? Besides, besides, do you play any instruments? No. No, you don't? But I'm learning. Okay. If you had one artist That's to perform with or create music with, dead or alive, who would it be? I only could pick one. Only one. Let's, let's hear it. Uh, Amy Winehouse. No, what the fuck? Why? Why? You said it. We didn't force you. <laughs> why you say? I, I don't know why you say Amy now, and why do you retract no, that? No, because I I have several influences. Um, but if I could make a song with anybody, hell, I gotta say Rihanna. Like she's a, not a big influence in my music, mm-hmm. but I love the woman. I'm obsessed with her. Oh my gosh, I'm like just absolutely obsessed with her. So I I, I always say I want to smoke a joint with her before I die. But if I could, but if I could make a song with anybody, I don't know. I guess it would be Rihanna, Amy Winehouse, Nina Simone, Sia, Adele. You don't have to ask, but those are my other influences. In any order? In no particular order. Yeah. No particular order. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's amazing. I I like your choice of Rihanna. What if what if Nalo Banks become a artist of the morning? I mean, if you're making sense, I don't think I would make a song with you. Why? Because you just too much. This like, is my wife be that wife. Nah, like, imagine my like, wife no. with your wife. Like, we connect. The reason I, I said is you could be dope as fuck, right? right? But I already know what you could be selling. Music. It ain't just music. You can be talking about gas. You can oh. be talking about pussy. So you going you to judge like, me based on Yeah. Me. I, I have, I mean, I'm okay, not a saint. Me. I'm not a saint. Judgment. Don't don't put me in that. But, no, you said the things on the camera. No, nah, bro, this is off, this is off you. Don't talk like that. He man. did say it. He did say it, but you you confirm it. You don't confirm talk it. like that, man. One of so a kind, you don't, like you said. This is one me. of a kind. For example, what kind of music you think Eminem used to sell before he had a song with Rihanna? What? Eminem. Uh-huh. Remember what's the song you and Eminem and Rihanna did together? Uh, Love the way you lie. Okay, so before they can co- collaborate, it, mm-hmm. what kind of Message you think Eminem was giving off, and then oh kind of message that Rihanna was giving I off. I see where you're going with what this. Yes. What is it? Was it was it not different? They both were different. I mean, what I'm saying, okay, East West. You're not right. South. No, you are actually right. I will give you that. I shouldn't say I won't make music with this artist because this is what this artist Fine. promotes. Fine. But I would not do a song promoting those things. So if you want to get no. sappy and talk about, you know, get on some Rod Wave shit. Dancing in the middle of the club. With their oh, okay, and that's shit. a good. That that's a, that brings up a good question. Yeah. So, has have you ever got any lyrics from an artist, and well, they send you lyrics to a song, and you send it back like you was in. What do you mean? Like they started like you had a song, uh-huh. and you was gonna collab with an artist, uh-huh. and they send you the lyrics, mm-hmm. but you didn't like it, so you send it back. Or you didn't put it on, you drop it off the feature. What I would do, and that has never happened because of what someone was talking about, because I always have, God damn, because I always have, <laughs> I always have that conversation before we work on the song, you know, I don't promote this, that, the next. So that has never happened. But if I work with somebody and they, you know, I have a suggestion, I would just do it nicely. I'd be mm. like, how do you feel about saying this instead? And they'd be like, oh, okay, like that. It's never, I don't know. I'm very non confrontational, except with banks. Wow. You know, the fact that you said except with banks, that makes my rating goes up. See, the fact that you mentioned my name is greatness over here. It ain't the greatest that everybody's gonna like, you know? 
Because Jay-Z and Kanye started on this ring. Look at Kanye now. I mean, he break because he does like a billion dollars from Adidas. He really is going <laughs> everywhere when he talks. Like, he's go every fucking where. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, Kanye was confrontational and wild and all eccentric. And, but that's who Nalo Banks is. I don't even like Kanye. But I love who Nalo Banks is. Nalo Banks bag with his kid to be out here. <laughs> Hey, let's bro. let's get on your be out of here. Be out of here. You gotta remember me. You, I didn't know what I was signing up for. <laughs> yeah, but now you know. And I, I appreciate you for stopping. Look, yo, you're one of them guys that don't dap women. That's what you're. That's not anything to hear, but I let the night be. Today, Rivers show. Tonight's episode is sponsored by Rivers. Rivers Entertainment. And I'll go. We let, we let, we let, we let. Oh, man. Y'all ugly, but y'all cool. I appreciate you for coming. You think we ugly? I can probably tonight. We are. We are. We don't want to go into that debate. But, um. Let's get out of here, man. We appreciate you for coming, stopping by. This was a great um, podcast once again. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It was cool. Yeah, I, we, I, we, I, I didn't know what to expect. We yeah. really look forward to hearing your music. So Thank you said you. June? June 7th. Let That's know. my birthday. So do your girl the favor. No, you do yourself a fucking favor. June 7th. It's called The Siren. It's all about, you know, embracing your bad bitch energy. You know, we ain't city girls, but we island girls. You know? Let the people right. know where you can find the music. Ah, sure. you can find me everywhere on all social media platforms at Zafira Music. My name is spelled Z A A F I R A Music. Everywhere, iTunes, all that good stuff. But I also have a concert on October 21st of this year, October 21st, 2023. It's going to be the third annual Pyromania concert, which which is Zafira Live, opened by other artists. But this year we're going to be collaborating with 3615 Bebop, which is the company of my boyfriend. They throw huge festivals. They just had one last night, like 6,000 people. It's going to be sick. It's going to be trap house music, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be promoting that on my Instagram soon. I haven't started yet, but, yeah, keep an eye out. You heard it here first. The fire we fox with you. We love you. We like what you're doing. Continue to be great. Continue to push out great music. Um, we would love to sit with you again whenever you want to come by. You could just stop by. I'll be back you're in, down in the again. summer. After the album drop. Let's do the before Let's and after. Send us the that? music. Because I we will. have a lot. Of, what we do, we have a lot of artists come up here and they never send us their music out. You know, because I was thinking, you know, I don't know how y'all do, but I could send you some. Yeah, ma, we play our shit on there too. You know right. what I mean? Right. Yeah, we do actually. Stop. So, cool. thank you for coming through, Sapphira. Thank y'all. We thank love y'all. y'all. Until next time, in the universe, grant us serenity to accept the things we can't change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom, wisdom to know, to know, the, know difference. the difference. Hey, boom, boom, boom. We are out of this, bitch. <laughs>